Zim Magadi Muria Zimbabwe. I am so excited to have on today's show a face that should by now be familiar. If you were tuned in to the Zim Thrive Independence Party, the man of the hour was MC Smiley, who just tore the internet up. And of course, off the back of that, I've had several requests to get him into the hot seat, and lo and behold, we managed to secure him. So welcome, MC Smiley. Yes, I want to go on. Sadaru. It's so good to be here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I hope everything is good on your side. Absolutely brilliant. You see, he's already started yeah. blowing up the interview before yeah, we right. start. <laughs> 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 right, so this curiosity that's come from you, I'm, I'm sure that you're an established name and an established face within certain circles, but there is actually yeah. a population of Zimbabweans who just want to know who you are. So could you just give us a little bit of context it's about MC Smiley? Well, well, MC Smiley is a youth out of Zimbabwe, and um, the only, I'm an all-around entertainer. I love spreading the love of music. I love spreading the energy to other people. I love feeding my energy to other people that love entertaining. That's my thing. I'm an MC, I'm an artist, and I'm also a DJ, basically. Quick and fast, that's MC Smiley. <laughs> and of course, one yeah. of your Flow Fridays on YouTube, for anyone who hasn't caught up, check him out. His YouTube page has got a segment called Flow Fridays. Um, you've got yeah, a line in there where you say that you're all about spreading the disease of music. And I think it, it yeah, emanates in absolutely everything that you, you know, that you do and that you represent. Talk us through how this love for music started. Um, ever since I was very, very young, I'd have, I had the love of music from, from a long time. I think as long as I can remember. First, it was just like just listening to it. And then it grew to copying some dance moves like the days of Michael Jackson. I used to try to copy Michael Jackson. As I got older, I started experiencing other types of music. Like that's when I got into reggae music, um, the days of Buju Banton and stuff. So I then started writing other people's lyrics and singing with other people's songs until I ended up doing my own thing, writing my own lyrics. Start off writing by like short songs until I ended up getting more and more and more and more. Before I knew it, I had more than 10 songs that I've written and the love just grew in me. It keeps on growing, actually. And so I've always had the love for music. A question that I always ask of our fellow Zimbabweans is one around that balance between being academic, which typically is where the guidance comes from our parents, yeah. and expressing yeah. your artistic side. And, you know, sometimes never the twain shall meet. So in your case, tell us how you were able to... I don't know if your parents were, were, were traditional, were conventional in that regard, but it would be interesting to understand how you were able to kind of navigate towards your artistic side. My parents have always, they always knew I had a love for music, so they never actually stopped me, or, but they always made sure that I also concentrate on my schoolwork and make sure I come home with good grades, but they also supported my love for music because I used to tell them I want to join the choir and things like that. I loved music. I loved dancing and everything. Every time I used to have a family gathering, just when I get a, a small crowd, I just start like dancing or entertaining people. So back in the days, like my, my cousin would say, um, I'm going, you know, you know, you can't do remark, you don't think about food, you think about my feet, or stuff like that. <laughs> and they knew that once I just start dancing and entertaining, my parents would start and my aunties would start throwing coins, dollars, 50 cents, those days, about 50 cents. Yeah. And we end up having enough money to go buy sweets and things like that. That's when I think my parents already knew that this guy loves music and maybe eventually that's what it's going to end up doing anyway. But academically, I was always expected to make sure my grades are also up to standard. So what happened? Yeah. You then finish school in Zim and you leave to go where? And what's the story post sort of Zim? After I finished school in Zim, um, I went to England. I stayed with my, my elder brother. I got a job. Where I used to stay in England was, it was a place called, in Manchester. It was a place called Moss Side. And Moss Side has got a lot of a lot of Jamaican community. Right. So I used to stay with a lot of Jamaicans. So even the lingo, the talk, and the music kept on growing in me. And even the way I talk now, when I when I started talking, the language, the accent, that's where I learned it in England. My first experience in like a dancehall, proper dancehall vibe, sound clash and everything was in England. England actually helped me build who I am right now. That's where I actually came up with the name Smiley and everything. So right. England actually was kind of the foundation for where I am right now. 
So if we were to drop you in Kingston, you can drop Patchwai, you can get by, and you know people wouldn't be able to tell that you're not from there. Yeah, man, definitely. <laughs> they might know that I'm not from there. I can't speak like proper. Right. You can always tell when, because sure. even a, a proper Jamaican, the accent, they speak faster and, you know, it's different. But I can manage. I can definitely manage. Because I remember when the art, when artists used to come to Zimbabwe, artists like Dizzy Signal mm -hmm. and everybody, I used to communicate with them perfectly. And they felt more comfortable talking to me because they felt that this guy can relate. I can talk to him in mm -hmm. my language without switching it and you can understand and you can also speak to me back. Okay, so tell us about the name MC Smiley. Yeah, I've always been happy, especially I've always been happy, always been smiling. So everybody, it just started off like a nickname, Smiley, sure. Smiley, Smiley. So I kind of ended up liking it so much. Right. I was like, you know what? I think I'm just going to make this like, when I started saying that, you know, music is what I want to get into now. Mm. I need, I'm going to need a stage name. So let me just use this one that people already calling me by already, the nickname yeah. that people already call me by. But them days it was just Smiley, Smiley or Smiley upon the case. Okay. Yeah. And then recent, yeah, and then recently I was like, you know what, since I'm doing more emceeing these days, I'm going to add the MC to it. Mm -hmm. So MC Smiley. But in Zimbabwe, they used to call me DJ Smiley. Okay. Yeah, so the Smiley is just there. Yeah. That is the signature. Because of always smiling and always being happy. <laughs> Got yeah. it. Well, we like a bit of positivity in this world, right? a lot of positivity in this world. Which then brings us quite comfortably to all things COVID-19. So you being in the entertainment industry means that your life is about people and events. And I know that you happen to work for, you know, the big ticket African club in the UAE. Yeah, so you're surrounded by people 24-7. How are you coping? Yeah. And how have you had to adapt yourself through this lockdown season? Um, the first, during the first days, I was struggling a bit because, you know, being used to always being out there and, and entertain people, always being out there on the stage. So first days, I was kind of struggling because, you know, you end up missing that stuff. But then I took this time to also say, you know what, I might as well take this time and use this time the best way I can. I've got like a home studio. I was like, you know what, probably this is the time I can focus more on on my music because mm -hmm. I haven't been writing songs in a while so like, let me just focus this energy on something that I can do from home and I already got a home studio so I'm like okay it's cool let me work on my album my uncompleted albums the ones that I haven't finished this is probably the time now that I've got the right. time let me write more songs let me work on the music videos I'm supposed to be doing that I haven't been doing and stuff like that so mm -hmm. now now I'm using this to my advantage as well that since I'm at home now I'm getting more time to do other things that I didn't have time to do when I was going out there and entertaining out there. And it's actually helped me a lot because now I got two mixtapes that I'm going to be releasing. I got a new single that I just released there. Nice. So, we would love to hear a snippet from this new single. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Let me drop something. Let's hear it. Oh, they must say, fear keep you prison, but hope sets you free. And like would you be me while feel rule me destiny and i don't know where my life i go only god that see and yeah, wherever i may be i know is there beside of me and people if i'll be strong daddy said to me so i'm standing firm like a jack around the tree keep the family together live in unity and shall they get your use the education is the key Yay, good job <laughs> we can't wait to have that in fact at the next sims ride party would love to hear it as part of your set because we just assume yeah, man, that you're part of the family now, right? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Zim tribe are my family. No. <laughs> Wonderful. We like, we like this. MC Smiley, thank you so yeah. very much for your time. It's been fun talking to you. Um, I appreciate again on behalf of Zim Thrive. Thank you for your input on Saturday. Um, and we look forward to seeing more of you. Please do follow, yeah, Thrive, big up, let's support each other. That is what the ethos of Zim Thrive is. So we like to boost each other up and make sure that we're all kind of gaining economically, socially, emotionally, and otherwise together. Thank you very much for having me. Zim Thrive to the world. Put it, put it, put it on speaker. We love you. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome.